Welcome to College Football Bros. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I am your host, Michael Newman, and I'm joined by our contestant on the hot seat today. It is from Marina Del Rey, California, Ryan Newman. Ryan, how are you? That is me. Yeah, I'm doing well, Michael. How are you? I am doing great. So you are trying to beat Trey's score from last week, and somehow you're apparently not a fan of the podcast because you legitimately do not know what Trey got last I week. I was a little busy. I had a little bit of a hectic week, so I uh, didn't okay. necessarily watch. I usually go back every now and then and see, but uh, not this time. <laughs> okay. I don't know <laughs> how you missed it on Twitter, anywhere, but all right. That, that works out. That works Were the out results on Twitter? I tweeted out, yeah, I tweeted out some oh. things that would have given you the result, but uh, oh. you honestly did not see them, so that's, that is good. Uh, but anyway, here are the rules. Uh, so there are 15 questions, each worth more and more money. If you get to the $1,000 or $32,000 level, you're guaranteed to leave with at least that much money. You have three lifelines. You have the phone of bro, in which you can call one of our Patreon subscribers for help, and that'll be Joshua today. He's volunteered to to be available. You've got the 50-50, which takes away two incorrect answers. And then you've got the go for two lifeline, which allows you to make two guesses at at the answer. Okay. And uh, and like I said, yeah, the goal is to beat Trey. You, you don't know what he did, so should uh, should be interesting decisions to come here. But uh, are you ready to go? You ready for that $100 question? Let's do it, Mike. I'm ready to go. This will be fun. All right, let's play college football. Who wants to be a millionaire? Which of these schools is in the American Athletic Conference? Charlotte, Ohio, South Alabama, or Memphis? Uh, that would be in the American. I, I'm just going to like reread the question. No trick questions here, Ryan. <laughs> yeah. don't, be a, don't, don't pull one of those misreadings. And, oops. Oh, you don't want to yeah. be that guy that goes out no. before 1,000, no. really. Yeah, no, just, you know, just got to make sure you read the question correctly. Uh, in the American Athletic Conference, so that would be uh, D, Memphis, final answer. Final answer. First question, oh. Ryan. It is correct. It is correct. <laughs> it's kind of okay. weird. Even though you're 100% sure, you're still like... <laughs> yeah, you're rethinking it. It's like, uh, it's always a sliver of doubt. Okay, next question for $200. According to the NCAA football rulebook, which penalty occurs when, quote, a defensive player is in or beyond the neutral zone when the ball is legally snapped? Is it illegal motion, roughing the passer, offside, or clipping? Uh, this would be offside. That will be my final answer. That's correct. $200. Thank you. Easy peasy. All right, for $300, which FBS school is located in Winston-Salem, North Carolina? Is it A, East Carolina, B, NC State, C, Wake Forest, or D, Appalachian State? That would be uh, C, Wake Forest, the Demon Deacons. Final, Final answer. answer. There you go. Final answer. Correct. All right, you're three for three. And here is your $500 question. Where did ESPN College Game Day personality David Pollock play college football? Georgia, Florida, Tennessee, or LSU? He was a bulldog at Georgia. Great career there. Uh, final answer, Georgia. And that is correct. All right. This is going well. Uh, now, if you get this is a big question, if you get it right, you get at least... $1,000. Here is the question. What is the name of Western Kentucky's mascot who is described by the school as a huge, furry, lovable creature? Is it Lil Red, Big Red, Hilly, or Topper? This would be Big Red, the hilarious mascot, of course. Okay. And that is, is, that... My, that is my final answer. It is Big Red. You got it. Big Red. All right, you are at $1,000, so you haven't totally embarrassed yourself. Uh, and Not by yet. the way, if you're listening to the audio version of this podcast, you can also check it, on, uh, check it out on YouTube and see the, these great graphics that Sarah made. And be sure, if you are watching on YouTube, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe. I really appreciate that. 
But let's get to your next question for $2,000. Okay. With over 1 million subscribers, what is the name of the most popular college football subreddit? Is it RCFB, R College Football, R NCAA, or R NCAA Football? Uh, that would be the Reddit. So R C A C F B. Yes, C F B. Is that your final uh, answer? Yes, that is my final answer. I, I'm I'm not a big Reddit guy, but I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> True. Well, that is correct. Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, you are at two thousand dollars. Let's try to double it for four thousand. Okay. What type of animal is Navy's official mascot? Is it a sheep, a dog, a goat, or a bull? Uh, Navy is a goat, uh, and that will be my final answer. That's right. <laughs> it's, you, a weird, it's a weird one, but... <laughs> yep, yeah, it is Bill the Goat. So you are at $4,000. You have all three lifelines remaining. Haven't even thought about using any of them. Uh, let's go for $8,000. Okay. Which former Georgia Southern running back, the all-time leader in rushing yards in FCS history, shares his name with a more prominent NFL running back? Is it Adrian yes. Peterson, Terrell Davis, <laughs> Jamal Lewis, or Derrick Henry? I-, I remember this guy. Yes, very good player. Uh, that would be Adrian Peterson, and that will be my final answer. Adrian Peterson is right. Yes. He was the guy that uh, in an auction draft, you'd throw him out first and hope yeah. hoped people would bid on him, <laughs> thinking it was the the better Adrian Peterson. The, red, the real Adrian Peterson. Yeah, the yeah. One. Okay. So All right. you have $8,000. You're two questions away from that $32,000 threshold. Uh, here it is for $16,000. Former Coastal Carolina head coach Joe Moglia previously served as the CEO of which Fortune 500 company? TD Ameritrade, Merrill Lynch, Charles Schwab, or Fidelity? Uh, well, he is a. Uh, that was he was in Omaha there. Uh, so TD Ameritrade is uh, where he was at before. So yeah, TD Ameritrade it is. A final answer. Final answer A. Yep. And that's correct. Yes. Wow. This is you're making this look very easy. Uh, well, like I said, all three lifelines still available. And here is that very important thirty-two thousand dollar question: Which of these head coaches is not an alumnus of the school he coaches? Paul Christ, Jonathan Smith, Manny Diaz, or David Shaw? Okay, so Paul Chris, yeah, he played QB, Wisconsin. Uh, what else we got? Uh, I mean, look, 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 what else we got? Jonathan Smith, yeah, he was a Beaver, he was a QB there. Manny Diaz. I never really hear much about Manny Diaz playing at the U. I can't even remember him hearing him playing anywhere. Uh, and then David Shaw. I thought David Shaw was. Uh, receiver at Stanford. Um, Finally, we got one that made you think at least. So yeah, I'm I'm thinking I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with Manny Diaz just because I I'm not sure on him, but the other three guys I'm pretty darn sure. But I'm just kind of like thinking okay. through, just double checking. Um, yeah, I'm going to go Manny Diaz. Final answer. Wow, final answer. Didn't seem super confident. Well, I know those other three guys I'm, I'm pretty certain on, so it's got to be him. You got it. It is right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Manny Diaz, he went to FSU. So that, that's... Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, went to, the, went to one of their rivals. So you made it. You made it to $32,000. You still have all your lifelines. You're guaranteed to leave with at least 32, so that's very good. Um, all right. And now here is uh, your question for $64,000. Who holds the Washington State record for passing yards in a single season? Connor Halliday, Luke Falk, Gardner Minshew, or Anthony Gordon? Uh, Yeah, this is going to be Anthony Gordon. Uh, He did it 
a couple of years back. Uh, he just had an absolute tear. I just, yeah, I remember that. Anyways, uh, Anthony Gordon, and that'll be my final answer. Anthony Gordon is right. Yeah, <laughs> that, yes. that's not an easy question. A lot of people would have thought Gardner Minshew. Well, I got the connection to the wazoo, so you know I have a vested interest in it. Yeah, he had uh, 5,579 yards in 2019. That was 800 more than than Gardner Minshew the year before. Okay, yep. you are four questions away from one million dollars. Here is your 125 thousand dollar question. In 1995, Colorado quarterback Cordell Stewart completed a game-winning Hail Mary as time expired to beat Michigan 27-26. Which receiver caught that pass? Was it Christian Fourier, Michael Westbrook, Phil Savoy, or Chris Anderson? Rats. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, boy. Oh, man. I do not know this one. You've got you've got all three lifelines. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to use some lifelines here. Mm -hmm. uh, you can either phone a friend, 50-50, you can go for two. You can combine the 50-50 and go for two, and you're, you're guaranteed to get it right. Ah, that's true. Uh, dang. Okay. Um, I guess I need to... Shoot, I guess I'm gonna try to phone a friend here. Uh, okay, phone, phone a bro. A bro. Phone yeah. a bro. Just uh, see if they have any gut feelings on this one before I do my desperation uh, double move of fifty-fifty and uh, <laughs> go for two. Go for two because I, okay. I got I got no clue. Okay, so your final decision is you want to call Joshua. Yep, we're called, let's call Joshua. All right, I'll get him on the line. All right. All right, we've got Joshua on the line to, to help Ryan out here. Joshua, how are you? I am doing great. Excited to be here. All right. Um, so wait, two questions for you. First, where are you from? Uh, Orange County, California. Okay. All right. Pretty close. Right. right in between me and Ryan here. Ryan's yeah. up in L.A. I'm down in San Diego. Second question, because it's important for, for the question you're about to answer, is what year were you born? Uh, I was born in 93. Ooh. Okay, so this this could uh -oh. be should have thought about that. Uh -oh. Yeah, this could be a little <laughs> bit difficult. Uh, third question: What's your social security number? <laughs> okay, no, we're getting a little too personal there. But all yeah. right, so I'm gonna have Ryan read the question, Joshua. Um, there's no time limit, so so take your time. But Ryan, take it away. Sure. All right. So my question is that I'm stumped on. I is uh, in 1995, Colorado quarterback Cordell Stewart completed a game-winning Hail Mary as time expired to beat Michigan 27-26. Which receiver caught the pass is my question. Yeah, exactly. That's a tough one. <laughs> so the, the, the selections are Christian Fourier, Michael Westbrook, Phil Savoy, or Chris Anderson. And if you need me to mm. list those names again, let me know. How long was the touchdown? Ooh. That was a good question. I mean, it had to be at least 50 yards or something. I don't know the exact distance, but it was a, it was a long one. Okay, then I would want to rule out Christian Fourier because he's a tight end. Right? I don't think he would have gotten deep that. I was kind of real thinking about him, too, about that. I was oh, like, yeah. yeah, I don't. I feel like I would have remembered if it was Fourier. Like, mm -hmm. you know, he had a good NFL career. Just didn't seem like he would be the right guy. So. No, yeah. My initial, well, I'll let you work your process more. So you said Michael Westbrook and then who yeah. else? Phil Savoy and Chris Anderson. Oh, man. I've never heard uh, Savoy's name ever. So I, would lean I like, can't remember yeah. Chris Anderson either. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know, I know the first two. Yeah, I mean, there's so many Westbrook. Chris Andersons in sports. Yeah, true. Sure. It's the heat guy. Yeah. yeah. Birdman. Birdman. <laughs> Um, my best guess would be Michael Westbrook. Okay, that was my, that was my gut instinct too. Just because I, I don't know, I, for whatever reason, I felt like I know they had Westbrook there. I, 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 I'm trying right, to remember. So let me, what let me set the stage here. You're going for okay. one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. You're at, you're at sixty-four. Um, if you get this question wrong, you go back to thirty-two. 
So, and you still have two lifelines left. We can, uh, we can uh, yeah. use if you want, or you can take a guess. Up to you. Mm, I got double dip or or d- go for two, <laughs> and fifty fifty. Yeah. Um, okay, well we both thought Westbrook, but that's just, you know. If, all right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go fifty fifty, and if Westbrook's still on there, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Westbrook. Okay, so. so We'll keep we'll keep Joshua around so he can he can see the answer here. But yeah. so All Ryan, fifty right. fifty is your your final decision to go for that. Yeah, I'm gonna go fifty fifty here. Okay. So you're left with Michael Westbrook and Phil Savoy. Ooh, I already said what I was gonna do. So <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. Let's roll the dice here, Joshua. We're going for it. Uh, Michael Westbrook, final answer. Final answer. It is. You've never even heard of Phil Savoy. I didn't. It does not ring a bell at all. Michael Westbrook is correct. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Uh, all right. I'm glad Joshua had the. Uh, I don't know if I would have gone for it without Joshua's gut take there, too. So, yeah. oof. All right. Booyah, all right. Baby. Well, thanks for your help, Joshua. That was great. All right. Oh, thanks nice. for having me. That was fun. <laughs> all right. See all you right. later, later Joshua. Bye. All right, so that was uh, that was great. That was good to uh, you both went with your gut, kind of. Yeah, we we kind of worked it out there as a group. There, a little teamwork makes the dream work for us. So that one worked for me. Oh. Okay, so you are at one hundred and twenty-five thousand uh, dollars. Here is your two hundred and fifty thousand dollar question. Okay. Oklahoma holds the record for longest win streak in FBS history, winning forty-seven consecutive games from 1953 to 1957. Which team ended their streak? Was it Alabama, Texas, Nebraska, or Notre Dame? Okay, well, I can, I, I can get rid of one right now. I know, I know Nebraska didn't do it. Um, just would have... I, I would really remember that if, if Nebraska was the team that did it. So I'm going to get rid of Nebraska out of the gate. Okay. So I got Bama, Texas, and Notre Dame. I Alabama would be odd since it's a non-conference type of game. I mean, I guess they could have played in a some sort of bowl game, but uh, Texas maybe, maybe I guess. You don't hear much about Texas back in the in the fifties, really. And Notre Dame. Notre Dame was my first gut reaction, uh, but I don't. The only team I know for sure is Nebraska. So. And I have a okay, so pecking have order. One, one lifeline. You've got the go yep. for two. I'm going to have to use the go for two here. And I know you, I got to use it. I know I have to use it. I, <laughs> I'll explain it to the listeners, though. So yeah. if he's electing to use the go for two, he can't make one guess and then decide, you know what, I'm going to walk away yeah. <laughs> with my 125. No, you've got to you got to make both guesses. Okay, so go for two is your final answer. Well, so I have a 67% chance, right? That's how it works. Two out of three if guesses. You're right about Nebraska not being. Team yeah, I'm. Um, yes. And then uh, I have a pecking order of when I feel it would be my best guess. And then I got a pecking order. So I'm, I'm yeah, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm double okay. dipping or whatever you call it. Go for two. <laughs> Go for two. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So give me uh, your, your first guess, your most confident guess. My most confident guess. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, I'll go with my most confident guess first, okay. uh, and then I'll really sweat it if it's not that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say Notre Dame. Notre okay, Dame. Okay, you're going D, Notre Dame. Is that your final yeah, answer? Yeah, I'm going to say D, Notre Dame. That's my first of the go for two. Yes, final answer. All right. Oh, it really is Notre Dame. This. Okay. It is Notre Dame. <laughs> you're really doing the read here. <laughs> I was, yeah, trying to build a little drama there. But <laughs> you are at $250,000. $250, dollars two fifty, baby. Work. Notre Dame. Right. That was a good, it seemed like that was just kind of a gut guess. You didn't, you didn't know it, but. Well, I just knew Nebraska wasn't, and then my, I, you know, process was going to be Notre Dame, and then my next guess was going to be Texas. Um, okay. Was just going to, Bama was going to be the one team I'm just like, you know, I just didn't think they did it. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. Well, you are two questions away from $1 million. There's no lifelines left. A couple of yeah. tough questions here, but let's take a look at $500,000. Whether as a head coach or as an assistant, 
Which school has Urban Meyer never coached for? Bowling Green, Colorado State, Illinois State, or Delaware? I believe I know this one, Michael. Whoa, uh, man. He's a Midwest guy. He's a Midwest guy. He is not an East Coast guy. He, okay. He's, you know, I've, I, and the, yeah, this is going to be, uh, I'm going to go with Delaware. The, I don't really pretty confident about that one. I'm going to go Delaware. D. Is that your D final Delaware. answer? Yeah, that's going to be my final answer. I'm, I'm going with that one. He was at those other he places. He went with Delaware. He was like a receivers coach, I think, Colorado State, the, I, in Illinois State. He was from the Midwest. He's, yeah, Delaware. Brian answered it for me. That's right. Delaware. <laughs> <laughs> my God. Ooh, uh, yeah, I knew that one. All I right. Knew that one. So you, I can't believe we did this. You are at half a million dollars. You have made it to the one million dollar One last question, question baby. For all the marbles here, this is awesome. I promise to listeners, this is not set up. Ryan does not know these questions before. Uh, here it is for right. $1 million. How many pounds does the Heisman Trophy weigh? 15, 30, 45, or 60? Oh, I wish I had one. I wish I had my gopher two left. <laughs> I wish I had something. Something. Yep. Uh, I because I I can I feel like I can eliminate two. Uh, you know I feel like I can get fifteen. It's too light. That thing is heavier than that. And sixty is too heavy. That that would be. Those guys would <laughs> have a somewhat hard time picking it up if it was sixty. So uh, I, I it's down to thirty or forty five, but forty five seems pretty heavy. Like it's lifting at a forty-five. Well, they do kind of struggle. I don't know. All like right, let me just remind you: you're at you're yeah. at five hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. If you get it wrong, you go back to thirty-two. You don't yeah. know what Trey did. He didn't get a million. No way. Okay. Well, for all you know, though, he got somewhere in between there. So. Yeah. True. He could have got. Yeah. Here. No. He could have. I don't know. Was... Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm comparing it to like a forty-five pound dumbbell that you use at the gym. It's like, that's. About what it seems like they do, but 30 could be the same thing. 30. I, I don't know if it's 30 or 45. Uh, I'm leaning towards just sticking at 500 here. I, don't, I, just, oh. I mean, I've come all this way, and then just to guess. You don't want, I, it, you don't want, don't want to go for the million? I mean, I have a no clue on it. I, I, 30 <laughs> or 45, I don't know. Like, there's no, I don't know. I, I don't okay. know the answer. Uh, okay. It would just be a random guess. I would lean 30, I guess, just because 45 seems like a lot for a trophy. But, okay. uh, yeah, I would lean 30, but I'm not willing to risk it when I have no clue. <laughs> so okay, that's... I'm, that's... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause here, Reed, and I'm going to take my 500 and Wow, and okay, so you're walking away, walking away from a Walking away. A if Trey got a million, then... Good for Trey. Like, <laughs> good for Trey. Okay, so walking away is your final decision. It's my final choice. I, I don't know it. Okay. All right. So before we uh, we get into what what Trey came away with, let's uh, let's let's make a guess. If you would have gone for it, what would you have guessed? I think I would go with thirty pounds. It just forty five also seems like a, quite a bit, but I would guess thirty. Well. You made a good decision. It was 45, Ooh. 45 Ooh. pounds. <laughs> All right. Good thing I wasn't feeling gutsy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, so you... 45 you, pounds, that's heavy, man. That is heavy. No wonder, yeah, I mean... Yeah, that's, that's some serious uh, trophy right there. For sure. Uh, okay, so now I have to reveal to you, the listeners if you or viewers, if you watched last week, already know what happened with Trey. Uh, I can tell you that Trey... Did not win a million. Okay. Did he tie? He won thirty-two thousand dollars. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> he he got to the two hundred and fifty thousand dollar question, and he took the fifty-fifty, and he just uh -huh. guessed wrong. Do you remember the question? I do. So I can ask you this. Uh, okay. It was which Pac-12 school has the smallest enrollment, and his two choices were Stanford and Washington State. Oh, Stanford's got smaller than Wazoo. Okay, well, you would. I mean, you, know, you got Trey's you know. question right. Yeah, well, another Wazoo one. Big state school. That's got to be bigger than a small private like Stanford. Well, shots fired at Trey. <laughs> Sorry, Trey. 
But uh, there you have it. Ryan wins uh, this matchup of, of who wants to be a millionaire. Uh, hope you enjoyed our, our episodes the last couple weeks. And if you enjoy the show and you want to subscribe to our Patreon, we'd really appreciate that. It's patreon.com slash college football bros. Five bucks a month gets you access to our Discord server where Joshua and Joel from last week's episode are on there. Bunch of different people. So uh, have a lot of fun in there. And we're going to release a Patreon episode this week where one of the patrons is going to be on the hot seat. So that that should be a lot of fun. Um, and also be sure to subscribe uh, to your pod to our podcast in Apple Podcasts and Spotify. So enough shilling. Yeah, That'll you good there, it. Mike? Yeah. I'm you know sorry. <laughs> hey, if we had merch to sling, I would talk yeah. about that. But got to sell, baby. Got to sell. Uh, no, thanks a lot for for listening and watching, and we'll see you next time. You've been watching the College Football Bros. Be sure to subscribe here on YouTube and in your podcast app for college football content all year round. For bonus episodes and access to our Discord chat, join our Patreon at patreon.com slash collegefootballbros. Thanks for watching.